Guatemala's Lake Atitlan, China's Dianxi Lake, the Mississippi River, the Gulf of Mexico, and India's Ganges. These water bodies are home to some of the world's worst affected dead zones. Dead zones are oxygen depleted areas in water bodies where marine life cannot survive. Dead zones develop when fertilizers and nutrients from farms and agricultural lands drain into water bodies, creating a surplus of algae. In a process that is termed eutrophication, the algae deplete the water of oxygen before decomposing, suffocating the species that live in the area. Estimates suggest that nearly 10% or more of the oceans are now dead zones. How did this happen? Today's environmental crisis can be traced to the previous century when the creation of synthetic fertilizers heralded a boom in crop yields. Synthetic fertilizers are manufactured from chemicals and contain high concentrations of nitrogen and phosphorus, which aid eutrophication. However, this threat is not new. Since the 1970s, regulations have been established to limit nitrogen and phosphorus pollution in some regions. These regulations have yielded positive results where enforced, such as in Germany, the Netherlands and Denmark. On the other hand, countries such as the United States, India and China continue to accumulate an excess of nitrogen and phosphorus. Now, global warming has further triggered the growth of dead zones. They are getting bigger and arriving faster. For instance, the 2021 Gulf of Mexico dead zone was the largest ever recorded, covering nearly 16,400 square kilometers and severely impacting aquatic life there. Scientists say it is essential to restore Earth's natural system lest we slip into yet another devastating environmental crisis.